Okay, once again, I have went back to the detail. I'd like to know how the wind generator went from $5,896.04 to $7,868.75. Because we changed that back in June or July when we redid the amount that we have to pay for the new bond. new electric bond that we purchased for the line. <coughs> and how are we justifying that we're adding 4.6 cents to the cost of electricity and adding in bond and interest into our cost of electricity? We've always paid, it's always been figured in. Isn't that bond and interest, uh, doesn't that cost us? Doesn't that cost us for electricity? I agree. Salaries cost us. I mean for electricity. You know, yeah, benefits cost us. Repairs and maintenance cost us. Somehow. Capital expenditures cost us. So why then just the bond and interest? Is that at all? I, mean, I, thought, I thought it was going to be the cost of the electricity. Yeah. Now we got bond and interest in that. But that is part of the cost of electricity. No, I agree. Part of, part of the community's cost of electricity. Our cost of electricity. Not what we pay for electricity. I, I'm just trying to figure out what the rationale putting it in there is. Now, I, know, I know the wind turbine have repairs and maintenance for the wind, but the bond and interest is not for the wind generators. It was for our project, our um, expansion project. What do we do? We rolled the wind generator into that also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got because we got a better interest rate. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The bonds were on the wind generator were three hundred and twenty-six thousand. The bonds of the call. Mm -hmm. And um, 695,000 is what we bonded. 695,000. Okay. And I assume the 7,868 is the repairs and maintenance agreement plus the bonded interest. It's the current bond and interest payment. Mm -hmm. How much is it? That's it. Mm -hmm. What's the what's the difference between the top and the bottom? Is it just the top is two thousand nine, the bottom is the projection. That's the projected two thousand ten. Okay, that's what I assume. Mm -hmm. 